Okay. So again, this is uh, um, this a uh, video about like how to backwards engineer um, any given kind of code base. Uh, that's quite a common task. And uh, why am I doing this is uh, because I found that a lot of people that are either onboarding or have to work with legacy codes and you know all kinds of stuff uh, that they have problems navigating. Uh, a code base and so let's actually look at something that I have no familiarity with whatsoever this is I took this off of uh, reddit and uh, so uh, w this is a link exchange system that is in the making uh, I copied it over um, from let's look at the original repo so as you can see this hasn't been touched for a while uh, nonetheless, uh, a couple of days ago, there was a uh, question about uh, something relating to this. And uh, I know that this person happens to study at the moment. So that's why I, I suppose now in the winter break, uh, you know, work is going to be picked up. So I forgot what the actual question was, but that's also not really the point. The point is that we want to, um, uh, well, that right now, I, I mean, I forked this repository. And uh, what I am going to do, and I'm sorry, but I'm normally using two screens and now I put both of them on this one. So um, there's that, I guess. So uh, let's do that one. Yep. And I hope it allows directory already system is not empty. Okay. That actually is annoying. That is annoying. Let's actually completely nix that. Uh, probably just close it for now. Yeah. And so I played around with this uh, for, directly from his repo, and then I decided I'm not going to show you that um, when I failed to. Um, uh, where is this? Here. Just get rid of it. Uh, when I failed to, uh, what's it called? Um, get from version control. When I failed to move over the, the remote of, uh, you know, from, from directly to, to my forked version. Okay. Okay, so here we basically have it uh, with Composer. Okay. Uh, I'm already confused. I don't see a Composer here. Okay. This requires PHP mailer. Okay. So I kind of wonder where the vendor is in that case. If he places it here, he doesn't have any kind of, uh, there's an auto load. Now oh, this is weird. Wait, does he? Okay. He could just copied it. Oh, okay. Now, page constructor, is there all of his stuff in here? Okay, let's leave this alone for now. And, and so the first step that we, we normally want to do before we get into stuff here is uh, let's be sure to, to get things running, right? So um, let's actually see what's going on. Yeah, okay, that's still the case. There's a privacy error. So the first thing I'm going to look at is, is, of course, it's always the same, right? So in this case, um, I'm running it off an Apache and there's an HD access file. So let's look at that one first and see what the problem is. And uh, basically, uh, if this is not on the right condition, the right rule. Okay, so let's isolate those rules here quickly. So this set is what we don't want at all. Uh, well known and C panel. Okay, so we kind of know where he's running it. Uh, so Let's get rid of this. 
we don't need that. We basically want to make sure that it's actually running without SSL certificate. Forced. Okay. Cool. So we got that far. Uh, let's look at the index. So we're going to need routing and and actually let's uh, do a new branch and say uh, local staging for now. Yep. So we can commit our changes to there. So, okay. Uh, let's look at routing. So apparently we're going to load something and we already see that. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be pretty global. See, that's that's a function. It's not a new class or whatever. So there's going to be a function start app in routing or whatever routing includes. We'll find out in a second. So let's have a look at that. So this is basically what happens. Start app. See, that's a function. It includes functions. Uh, let's actually at least have this open and, and then go through there. So session start, okay, cookie. So that's, we already know cookies uh, of status are probably not set at this point because here we're running. Um, the, I don't even know what that is, but uh, nope. Uh, no, no get is set whatsoever, right? Uh, this, if you remember how the HD access works, right? So that's still a case. Uh, we probably want to see what's happening here. We are nowhere, right? So this is our, basically our first route. So we also have to wonder why this is in here, but that's a different story. So that's our first route. Uh, that's our second route, third route, fourth route. Okay, count. And that's another one, dashboard, log else. Okay. So I'm guessing right now that we're in this else block. And because we're basically in, in, you know, in nowhere. And actually, now that I look at this, let's make sure that there is a rewrite base. Ah, I thought so. So we don't want the run to get confused either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this See if that makes any kind of change. No, that's fine. Yes. Okay. So I suppose we should be here, right? Let's let's quickly find this out uh, and create um, with uh, X debug. Let's let's listen to this. Let's kick on the uh, debugger and uh, make sure that yep we're running it. We're going to accept that connection here. All right. So we are in this else. As see, we're running here. So that's our breakpoint, and uh, the uh, I, I'm interested to see what is the request URI that we're getting, right? So let's quickly see that wherever that is request. Oh, this is not sorted. This is great, right? Okay. It's backlinks.com. So this doesn't, okay. That's already a problem with, with the setup of this. So we might, we're potentially creating a lot of issues here. So this does not seem to understand because the request or is still that. Okay, so this is probably supposed to be just slash, right? Rather than backlinks.com slash. So um, the what happens here is basically, yeah, so this would say just backlinks.com, the permalink. Uh, let's create a breakpoint one, one more down and see what happens. Let's Right, so you see the the permalink is backlinks.com, which is, I suppose, not what what the intention is. The intention is probably you know to have it just as nothing. So uh, let's see what kind of problems that that'll that'll provide for us. So dashboard pages, okay, this is uh, an array. This is super old school written. This probably works for PHP five six or whatever. Um, no, actually, since five six, they have the. It doesn't matter. Okay, so um, check an array. So the content uh, zero title. 
Okay, so our content here is empty as we can see, right? At this point. Uh, so let's go down here, get one further. Okay, and that didn't even work. So it already broke here. Oh, and that's in functions. And those are all global functions. Do you see how, how none of this is namespaced? So that's, I mean, from a refactoring perspective to get this modern, there's already a lot of work to be done. This is really old uh, way of, of writing things. Oh God. Okay, but uh, okay, that probably is already the issue here. That we're undefined index in routing on 12. We don't care about that undefined index, but here's the actual error. Right, let's actually get rid of that one. Uh, function query on null. So a database connection is actually already our issue. Okay, so um, let's get a database connection running and see you know how, how what, what that helps, right? Uh, so let me quickly go to PHP Madmin. Uh, this guy. Oops, and super important because that should be my exclude paths here. Let's not run the debugger for now. Okay, and let's quickly create um, a database that we're going to call backlinks. Oh, okay. Backlinks. And uh, let's make this UTF-8 UTF-8, where are you again? Uh, UTF-8 and before it general CI. Right, we don't exactly know anything about collation, but uh, let's first of all get this started so we can work with anything. Okay, let's quickly create that as a data source here. And uh, that's a MariaDB in that case, uh, on localhost, uh, it's root, no password, and database is uh, backlinks. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, this is empty. I expected as much. Okay. So let's uh, actually see what's happening. So here we have the, this happens before, right? So how do we get the, where's the database connection? Database query. So this is probably defined somewhere and we have to find out where that is. Right, so we have to see what could possibly be included here. It's the functions that's only the only thing that's doing. And uh, let's let's probably just do something and say user. Oh, and, and not in JS. Oh, let's not be so stupid. Hmm. Ah, here, in the config PHP. In the config PHP. Now, the big question is, where is the config PHP used? Is that maybe in function? Oh, it's, it's right at the top of functions. Okay, so the config PHP, all right. So uh, let's do that. So here we are root and the database name. Okay, that's a weird, but okay, sure, whatever. So that is uh, backlinks. Uh, that is empty. Oof, and this is not good. Let's see what how it defines that. Connection string do we name data? Okay. Well, let's see. All right. So that's good. 
Uh, we apparently got a little bit f further now. So let's see. The where does it really kick off? Those are all undefined that we have. Undefined index logout. Okay, interesting that it's calling that. So let's go back to our, let's close this one for now and see if our breakpoints here. So in the get current page with permalink in functions, see where the problem is here. So here we basically have a connection string. So, so this is already, we already know, okay, this is probably like a CMS like type uh, setup, right? So we're apparently looking for uh, something based on the link. So select content with permalink is basically, okay, so based on the permalink that we have, which is the wrong one, we already know this, um, we want to, uh, you know, create something that, uh, actually, let's look what we're going to query here. Okay. <clears throat> so we don't have this, right? And uh, nowhere is any kind of migration in here. So if you are unlucky enough that you have to basically also reconstruct the database, then, uh, well, then good luck. And it's exactly what we're going to do now. Uh, add table to data source. Yes. Okay. So it's smart enough to understand, okay, this must have a permalink. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and name. So I assume that this is not an integer, right? So let's actually, let's actually change this. So this is permalink, right? We're gonna make assumptions now and then basically, I mean, we're gonna go really deep, you know, seeing what's going on here. And I'm just gonna assume that this is a varchar uh, 255 and that there's also a name which I don't exactly know why why we would have a name, but sure, there's a name. And the problem is that we're selecting everything, so we have to, ah, here we see it at least has a title and a content. I'm not sure how it gets to name. Where name, let's leave this out for now, and instead say, okay, so this has a title Okay, first of all, this is, this is what's happening here. Uh, so this has a title. Jesus. This has a title, and uh, I assume that's a varchar as well. And I know that it has a content. <sighs> so this, if this is really a complete page, let's make this text. Let's see what's happening medium text okay um, and it has a post ID fun backlink post okay so it has a post ID where per permalink equals okay um, why is permalink small and post ID okay so here's what I'm guessing I'm guessing, and this is now something that we will have to figure out, that this is, oops, no, oh, sorry. No, this was right, I want to have another one. Uh, I'm guessing that the post ID is actually uh, the primary key and auto increments. I'm guessing at this point, but uh, let's find out what happens, right? Okay, let's execute it. So we have this permalink title content. Uh, and then we're going to add a primary key. I'm not really sure why this writes like this, but sure, let's do that. Okay. Now, let's run it again. Okay, so that didn't work. Uh, let me see if we have any kind of different errors that are showing up somewhere. Post type, okay, equals blog. 
this is still the same one. So uh, there is a post type that we probably missed here. Uh, and you know what we're going to do? Where's the filter? Yeah. We don't need that. Um, so here, let's uh, let's modify the table. And remember that there is a post type. I'm not sure if this can be an enum, maybe, but uh, let's uh, let's assume the worst. Okay. Got it. Okay. Method query not found. So let's see why that's the case. What is the database connection? Where are you in includes? Okay, so I thought so. This all right. And then we construct the database connection. We pass it in the username, and it goes with PDO, and that's why. So this returns a PDO. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me one second. Okay, sorry. Uh, school bus game. So, uh, where have we been? Yes, so the... It doesn't understand this because this doesn't really return anything. And so this runs disconnect. So we want to probably... Uh, what we probably want to have here is uh, uh, let me see if we can if we can't just uh, uh, if we can just do no it doesn't do this for me do you? Can't do that for me because none of this is okay. Forget it. Let's do it differently. Uh, this guy. Huh. Oh. I see. It's database connection, database connection. That is hmm, not exactly ideal. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Understand that. Okay. So uh, let's see what's happening here. So backlinks routing line twelve. So now let's let's basically the undefined indexes is the next stuff that we're going to run into, uh, and then we see what's happening, right? So let's clean up so we don't lose track of stuff. So uh, routing line twelve. So that is what uh, undefined index status. Okay, let's uh, let's actually start to clean this process up here. Oh, and here it's done, see? So apparently you always have a status after the first run. Uh, okay, logout uh, in 204. Same thing here. Oops. So not what I meant to do. I'm already really curious what the hell the get logout is going to do, but that's fine. Um, no, sorry. What is the problem? Two hundred and four. 
if get logout is true. Sorry. Okay. Uh, 173. Okay, this accounts for something being there. Okay, that's already an issue that I'm not sure if I can solve for, but okay. So, okay, so we're in the else which basically means now we're grabbing into the database and gonna get something out, right? So we're running in here. This is the request, URI. This is um, going to be an issue. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, oh, that's going to be a shit show. Okay. Got it. So now we've got our permalink and then we're gonna paste it directly into functions and try to get something out of here. So here we make a new connection, right, with, with the database and uh, going to try to find per permalink. So basically what permalink equals this. So I'm not sure what we're expected to get out of here, right? So I have two possibilities now. I can basically just return a, a mock uh, um, array here. What is, yeah. You know what we're going to do instead? Uh, we're going to try this out um, to fill this. Okay. So let's do, let's do this for now. And basically say, okay, uh, let's create something. So that should be this. Uh, title is test, uh, content is my content, and host type, I don't really know. Let's leave this blank for now. Mm, yeah. And uh, that should be fine. Okay. So let's see what happens. Undefined any link URL in the page construct. Okay, so apparently we are finding now that some additional things are missing. Well, let's let's keep on go, trucking here. So we managed to basically get something out of here, and this returns to uh, where have we been here? Let's close this. Let's close this um, to the functions, and that's been used here. So we have some content here apparently, right? And the title, if the title is in, uh, you know, one of those. then go to dashboard. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, w there's no, there's no else. There's no else. So this Create post page, create new link page, create user page, return page. Oh man. So those are basically rewrites, right? So this is where the content gets passed in. 
and then we have a title, we have a content. So this is supposed to be HTML, that's good to know. Uh, let's look at this a little bit bigger. Um, then we have a link URL, which is missing. Okay, so I don't understand why this isn't formed out of the permalink. Oh, because it's supposed to be a link, an external link. Okay, sure. Uh, let's do that, I guess. Let's do that. Uh, modify table and just add a link URL, and that is a large chart 225. Uh, so what you want to do, by the way, is is to be uh, consistent, right? So if you have post underscore type and then permalink and so on, did you see how casing is like like super weird in this thing? Uh, that's probably something that we want to avoid. Um, also, let's give this actual content something here. Uh, let's just say example.com. I don't know if we need that, but uh, let's assume. Did this upload? Now it did weird. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's what we basically expect, and then get link provider email. Page one. Oof. What could that possibly be? That is super strange, but okay. Let's ignore it and see what this page is. And that's right here. So this executes this homepage, this head, this body, uh, is user page, new user, get links. Oh my God. Okay. So, Jesus. Yeah, so that's a lot of refactoring work if we're looking at stuff like that. Holy crap, okay. So let's just assume we're good with that now and see how far we're going. Okay, page construct, uh, we're here in, let's say 550. Is that what it said? Let me actually make this small again so I can look at it at the same time. Close to bay database. Uh, yeah, in 550, so uh, again, we have no user, um, and that's also understood. Ugh, how do we best get this sorted out? Uh, let's do it like this. Mm. Actually, let's do it like this. Yeah, let's do it like this. And then get the user. Uh, then do that one. Yeah. I'm not sure why he's doing that, but okay, whatever. Uh, let's keep this untouched. Let's keep this untouched. Use of undefined constant HTTP host. Interesting how that changed the font. Uh, in uh, 365, in 365, uh, oh, it's okay. Those are simple typos. Okay, index status in 104. Wow. Okay, same here. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Okay, as we can see, like slowly, we're could, probably gonna get something together. Uh, 187, 187, same here, probably, if is null. Uh, I see. Uh, hmm? Eighty-seven. If I said cookie user and cookie user is null. solution for now but let's go with it okay and then back to here the title doesn't exist okay that's back on routing let's jump back here 220 uh, oh there's a post title okay Create post page. Why is this even? Okay, where is this even executed here? Oh, this just happens. <laughs> Great loop page. Okay, this just happens. Uh. Mm, this. Let's actually do this, and for now, let's say. Oops. If not, it's a post title. Return true. Uh. Okay, and then we have link title. And let me guess. Yes, uh, this is a problem that basically exists over and over again. I'm actually just going to copy this for now uh, and basically say no. Uh, this is not how we should work. Okay. All right, so the PHP error stopped. So I, I assume that you know we're missing a lot of, of uh, links to uh, resources, yep, and that's still the case. Uh, all right, so let's see. Free cookie is not defined. Okay, we're missing a couple of includes here. So what I'm interested in is basically reloading this page and get all the 404s out. Okay, so localhost JS bootstrap bundle. Well, let's uh, just go through that and, and find that quickly. Bootstrap. Uh. Okay. So we've got this stuff here. Uh, but I actually want to know. This just doesn't make sense. I don't know where it's included.
So how could that be base construct? Let's see how the DOM is basically how that works, right? Uh home page head body is needed to page get link page. Oh my okay. So Google Tag Manager, okay. Function G tag, uh, Google Fonts, jQuery code, okay. This page title, this JavaScript, yeah, that's probably that's probably the culprit here. Ha, get JavaScript files. Okay. So it's just whatever is in here. Okay, so what what this whole system is 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 lacking, right? Is um, some kind of relative pathing in general. We we have, we have that already in the. Oh, sorry, kids are screaming. So um, the yes, we have we have basically no no uh, relational URL here, right? It's always going from the request URI and so on. So that's a little bit of of the problem that we have here uh, with the system, in general. So uh, that is why if we look at it, uh, what we will see is of course, it's trying to get from localhost rather than from localhost backlinks.com. So what we probably wanna do here is uh, coming up with a fix that would work on a really high level. And uh, that is probably, probably something we wanna address in the HT axis, right? So, Ah, uh, is that what we want to do though? Because this now only works if you if you run it on root. Let me think about this. Ah, uh, so we've got the rewrite base there. Uh, where was this config thing that we're getting here from functions? Oh, it's simply the config. Uh, okay, so if that's the stuff that we need to set anyway. Connection string. Okay, then let's do something else here and say, and say something like this, right? And uh what is this so this says document root and what we really want here is to say mm, let's call this base yuri <clears throat> and basically say okay so we have got a we got a server document root right actually an HTTP host yeah that's what we're gonna do we have an HTTP host oops host ah now we're gonna we're gonna make it even more beautiful uh, oh this is I don't know if that's beautiful, but that'll work for now. Okay. Uh, to do more for sure. Just write the stuff here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to say uh, HD access file uh, is I'll get contents and um, so we should be in which context are we let's be sure this runs from wherever we are oops uh, and say so from this directory uh, we want to have the dot hd access 
Okay, so that should be a string. And what we're going to do now is uh, base URI equals, and now we're going to do a uh, prag match and of um, HD access file. Okay, so what are we going to looking for? We're going to look for the beginning of the string um, base, right? So uh, rewrite base is what we're going to look for, right? Uh, then there's definitely this, and here's our capture group, uh, which is going to be um, basically just anything. Yep. Basically anything. Is that correct? Mm, let's find it out. Let's try it out. Uh, let's actually quickly be super dirty and see what this what the output is. Int. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't need any kind of flags. Wait, where's the subject? Oh, I need the matches. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I'm stupid. Uh, Uh, so that's empty. Interesting, but uh, it's probably my mistake. Oh, on a modifier G, yeah, okay. You are G because you're PHP. Uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. So there's this. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. And then say, uh, oops, sorry, define base URI. Uh, and that is uh matches one yeah okay so we've got that now so let's start cleaning up this stuff here uh and say okay so what do we have now uh, in the yes, in the page construct where we say get where is what's it even check you to say this query. Oof. This is such a problem with how this is structured here. Get okay, dashboard here. Get JavaScript. Let's start here. So instead of this stuff here. We now say base URI. Oh, this is, of course, also a problem. But we're just going to nix here. OK. So this is for now going to give us double quotes. But I'm going to leave it here for a very simple reason, that this is not the, the uh, solution that I'm actually planning on doing. So this will probably, at the end, be have a different output. Uh, get CSS files to the same here. So figure out the protocol yourself. And here, get the base URI in. OK. Let's see what that did for us. Uh, 
and I think there we go, right? Let me see if we have any kind of 404s here. A couple of forbiddens. Wait, what? We're permanently. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The. Hold on. Uh. So that doesn't serve 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 anything, of course. So what we still need the the um, the host, right? Same here. Still need the host. Yeah. Okay. Not exactly sure where this comes from. Oh yeah, that's how the, okay. So now we have to tackle the router, but more importantly, uh, we are now in the state where we're actually running a, um, a particular uh, blog in this case. So we're ironically not running the dashboard, which is probably what we want. So the first thing that we're gonna address is the router. But this is basically, we're now done with the step of basically uh, generating local staging. So I know that was like like uh, 50 minutes just you know to get something started that has, we have no idea uh, you know what the background is. We didn't ask anybody like, like how the database setup is nothing. We just basically uh, recreated the functionality uh, by by common sense. So uh, it's actually interesting. So so now we're at the point where we can basically start to make uh, you know like like to work on it, right? And and uh, that is something that we probably want to do, right? Uh, so I'm curious on yeah. Okay, this is how the links work. Yeah, we. Oh yeah. So now some, something general, since we looked into this project a little bit, right? Um, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about how you want to set something up like that. So first of all, you should have like a logical responsibility of things, right? So the, actually let's start with, with let's not uh, work in that way at all. So we would probably want to have a, a OOP approach to all of this and not just, just a global function that gets executed. Um, but even if that's the case, so as you can see, all of this, uh, that's potentially prone to, I mean, this will, for example, not work for me now, right? Uh, th this is what we're doing here is, ex is exactly what our, our base is for, right? So that should, I'll be base theory uh, for, for, for this to even work, right? So I'm not going to fix all of this. But uh, all this functionality that, that is in the router, uh, that's, that's not what, what you want to have. Right, or this basically uh, that that stuff like that lives on on a, on a, a global level. What you also never want to have is um, is actually anything. If 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 the cookie serves any other purpose than 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 being used on the client for something, then then you don't want that either. But that's a different story, because then you would use a session. Um, the but everything that is basically stuff like that, right? Uh, and uh, worse here, of course. Like, so a good application has exactly one echo line, right? I mean, that sounds a little weird, but I mean, you, this is something that, that you will never be able to maintain. This is a, a, a very, very uh, big illusion that you can actually manage a, an application that is built like this. Like you will never be able to find things. I mean, look at how, how long it took us and how hard it was for us to basically um, just just get it get it running and basically you know to find all of these things here here document right in 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 this. I don't even know why this would possibly be a good idea to write this in JavaScript for whatever reason. Um, so, so I mean, there's no templating, there's no nothing. I mean, this this all basically runs 
into a um, foreseeable chaos, right? I mean, absolute chaos as, as it is already. I, I don't think this is actually maintainable in matches like this, which have duplication all over the place. So, uh, I, I don't, I'm not really even sure what, what, how I would start fixing this. Um, you know, probably I would whip up a new project and, and start recreating functionality, to be honest, because it is uh, simply too hard to, to maintain such a thing. And if, if, if this grows, then it only gets worse. Then you need somebody who basically knows the code by heart in order to, you know, be able to do anything. You know, like, w what is this? Fetch. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a template. Mm, that's the question now, for example, where's the... Yeah, okay, this is not used. Yeah, so um, again, structurally, uh, uh, probably probably wouldn't even even bother uh, to to go in here. Uh, would probably have too much of a <laughs> too much of a um, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, this is hilarious. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, too much of a hassle, you know, to, to, to get this under control. Uh, but but, uh, but it, nonetheless, I mean, you could now start refactoring, right? And say like, okay, so how would I, for example, uh, get get particular functionality? Uh, like probably start with, with the structure, right? And, and, and build a namespace and so on. Uh, but but that's not what what I'm going to do right here. So so this was basically just to um, you know get you started of how to get along with with code that you're absolutely not familiar with, um, and then basically understand what is happening when. And I hope it was interesting. It was interesting for me. Uh, I made a point of not looking at this prior to uh, starting this video. It makes it a weird video, I suppose, but uh, with with a couple of interruptions from my kids. But uh, nonetheless, um, uh, people always ask me. You know how how uh, things like that work uh, because uh, it's it's an important ability to you know jump into something and, and basically start digesting what's what's happening and also like being bold enough to just play around with things uh, to see what kind of impact they have um, because I know it it takes a while uh, to you know understand how particular um, um, how, how particular um, well. Uh, th things run together, right? Programmatically, right? So, so I hope that helped. So, so again, start with the HT uh, axis and, and and the index, and then just you know click your way through it and and see what's happening. So that's all I did, right? This is okay. So I'm gonna go to basically this is what's happening, right? And then I can make assumptions on well, you know what's what's the case here. I mean, I know what 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 is in here. I I, I know what's in here. You know, like I, I can make uh, uh, pretty good assumptions on on, on what's happening, and uh, that's basically how how you get uh, to something. Ah, you started this process here. Okay, it's the logout procedure, and back to home. Okay. Yeah, so again, this should all be components um, and and their own controllers and so on. So um, I'm not, not going to judge, though. That's not that's not the point of this. Uh, what I mean is like it's, it's pretty easy to, to even in, in, in very complex, uh, unusual setups to basically find your way around. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, 
uh, sorry for the detour. I wanted to do a video like that uh, just because at work I'm, I'm faced with the opposite where, where people basically uh, have to pick up a project that I'm going to leave behind and, uh, you know, people uh, have some difficulties in, in being able to answer basic questions of, well, how would I approach code? And uh, maybe, maybe that helps. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, best of luck to you.